this is Travis and in today's Revisto training session we're going to be covering making stamp issues. Making stamps is a lot like making uh, an actual issue itself. The difference is that stamps come in with all of your um, parameters for your issue already pre-filled out. So what I mean by that is a stamp already has all of this filled out. So as you create your stamps, keep that in mind. You can already have a preset priority. So if you have blockers that need to be called out, you can set up really easy blockers that are automatically assigned to the right people and automatically have the right watchers and the right tags. So let's, let's make a stamp. So as you can see, I've already made a few stamps in here. To make your own, you can click this Add Stamp button. You give it a three-letter designation. You only get three letters. Keep that in mind. And you can give that a title. You can also place this into a category. So I'm going to make a miscellaneous. And now you can see that our miscellaneous test stamp has its own category and spot here. I'm going to come in and start presetting things. I want them all to be red. I want them all to be blockers. I want them all to go to Jesse. And I want Dan and David to be able to see this. And I also want change order three attached to each of these. So now every time I place that stamp, whether in 2D or 3D, it's going to have all of this information on it. So let's go into 3D and test one out. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to click my stamp tool. Here you can see my miscellaneous category. You can expand these to find them. And I'm going to add a stamp. And if you click once, it's going to add it and it's going to come up here. And you can see all of that information <clears throat> is pre-filled out. <clears throat> so we can sort by this in our issue tracker or we can make reports by any of this information. Um, you can toggle between chat the same way as an issue right here. And you can also click this little button to add any kind of markups that you'd like. So maybe you're, you want that fixed. Now that is on the stamp. Um, it's important to note too when you make these stamps in the 2D environment. So I'm going to come over here on my sheet and I'm going to grab a stamp. And this time I'm actually going to hold control and I'm going to add a few stamps. So see how I can add multiple stamps? Now I have five that I could report. I could use that to, to actually report on change order three on this sheet. What's neat about this in 2D is now you can see that each of my stamps holds the markups on the sheet. So I can click between stamps to go between issues, or I can also click on the markups. That concludes how to create stamp issues. I hope you guys learned a lot and have fun.